Hey guys, thanks for watching Nerf Soaking Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the Nerf Elite Double Down. Uh, this is copying uh, the new color scheme, uh, new uh, Elite Series type of guns uh, with the new color scheme, the orange and the gray and white. That's kind of cool. Uh, it, this is the Sharp Fire here. It's very similar to it. Came out uh, just a bit after. Uh, so the new color scheme is orange and it has a gray trigger here, as you can see with white colors. But uh, this gun is basically like a Night Finder or a... Uh, a gun that's similar to that, where it has the same priming handle back here, except it has two darts in the front. Uh, so that's kind of nice. It does have four dart holders right here, so you can keep your darts in here. Uh, it, I'm not sure if it would smash them too much or not, so I wouldn't keep them in for too long if you were to put these in here, just, just for paddle, then make sure to pop them out, or otherwise you could smash your darts. Uh, this does have a uh, sling adapter here on the bottom of the handle, so you can put your sling there. Uh, it's a little bit thick and a very small hole though, so I'm not sure if you can easily fit a sling adapter on there pretty easily. So, Oop. so now for the functioning, how you use this gun, you basically pull this back. Uh, it'll shoot either dart which you have loaded, or if you have both of them loaded, it'll always shoot the right side, or right from my side, left from your side. Um, so what I think is kind of nice about this gun actually is that because it has twin barrels, uh, you can easily hit two shots pretty quickly as long as you don't keep your hand on this or otherwise when you, when you pull the trigger, you're going to pull your hand with it to slow down the dart. Um, so that's pretty nice about that. Uh, also, it's actually fairly easy to mod because uh, it looks like it's just the four screws there. I'm not sure about that just yet though. Uh, for the pros and cons of this gun, uh, first off the pros, it's very simple, very easy. It has two darts so you can shoot pretty quickly with those two shots versus like a night finder or something like that. Uh, it does have these dart holders which is pretty nice so you can have extra ammo on you and just grab two at a time and put them in there which is uh, very nice. Uh, also it's very small and very slim gun. Uh, it's kind of like f copying the jolt idea or the sharp fire idea where it's a very small gun. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, for the cons of this gun, the range and accuracy both not that good. Uh, so it doesn't seem to be that effective for battle unless if you're like right up close to someone. Uh, however, you could modify it maybe. So another con about this gun is that it has a two, uh, the two barrels here. It seems like they are uneven when you shoot them. It seems like normally the second shot, so the left barrel, is a lot weaker. Uh, I'm not sure why that is. Maybe there's some sort of a leak inside of it or something because it is the same plunger. So I'm not really entirely sure why that would be. But it seems like the second shot is normally just a little bit weaker. Uh, it doesn't shoot as far. Uh, another pro slash con is that you can uh, you can flip the gun. This kind of has a nice flip here. That could be pro and con because it's annoying. And it's, it's a distraction, but. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the uh, internals review with Adam. All right, guys, here we are with the internal review for the Nerf Double Down. Um, this gun is very similar to its brother, um, bigger brother, the Sharp Fire, in that uh, it has a really basic reverse or just a plunger system. Um, uh, so basic, in fact, that you don't even need to open the gun. But I'll show you the inside anyway. You have a. Uh, uh, the catch right here and the trigger right here. Um, really, really simple. Um, it's got like the, the trigger springs actually plastic. That's kind of interesting there. Um, but yeah, it's really easy to use. It's got a really easy pull, trigger pull. Um, I, well, you know, it's not easy, but it's it's simple and it's easy to put back in because you don't lose a spring for that. You do have a spring for the trigger catch. I haven't had any issues with it flying out, so I don't think you will, but um, yeah, it's, it's Fairly, fairly simple to take apart. And you can just disassemble it like this, and then you have the rest of the gun and the plunger here. Um, I'm going to take this plunger apart real quickly and uh, show you guys what that looks like in a sec. Okay, so going into this here, uh, you have the spring and uh, just base all your basic attack. Uh, you have your basic plunger set up here. Um, I'm not going to take this apart, but if you want to take the spring off, you have to unscrew this screw on the top. Pull that off, you can take your spring out, upgrade it, put a bigger one, stronger one in. Um, there's a little bit of room for, uh, for variance of spring size. Not that much though, not like it's bigger brother, the Sharp Fire. Um, but you know, you can still vary a little bit. Um, I just, I really like how Nerf made both of these guns, um, how they made them uh, both modifiable in the same fashion. And that, uh, 
you know, you can just open it up and replace the parts. And uh, it's just really easy. You just have to open up the back to replace the springs. You don't have to open up the body at all and worry about any, any catches or anything like that. So yeah, overall, I really, really like the internals of this gun. Um, really, really simple. It's like, uh, it's just so, so simple. You don't have to worry about anything in here just because it's really straightforward. So uh, I give the, uh, ov the overall internals a thumbs up for this one just because it's probably one of the more simple ones I've seen made. Um, so now let's get on to the shooting test. All right, so we've got a double down. We have a 70 foot reel lined up. Let's get the shooting done. So for the range of this gun, the darts landed from 25 all the way to 37 feet. Uh, the effective range on this would probably be around 20 feet, which is not that great. Uh, I really like this gun because it's it's very much like a Nightfinder X3, except it has two barrels, which is pretty nice. Uh, I just think that overall, I don't really like it because of the ranges. I mean, it does have the gray trigger, so that explains that it's uh, that ranges are a little bit less. So thanks for watching our Instagram reviews, and I'll see you guys next time.